Okay, so today's lesson is going to be on reading prices, knowing how to read signs and tags to determine the cost. This is a good skill whether uh, you are just shopping in the store for yourself or if you're working in a store and need to determine what is the price for a customer who needs help. There are a few ways uh, that we may represent money values, the way we write them and the way we say them. Uh, the word cents or the symbol for cents indicate a value that is less than a dollar. For instance, when we write one and then the cent sign, it equals one penny. The words dollar or dollars or the symbol for the dollar indicate the amount is a dollar or more. Amounts of a dollar or more can be written like either of these examples. You could write it as dollar sign two dollars if it's just, you know, two dollars even. If it's 50 cents more than two dollars, then you would write dollar sign two decimal point 50, which would be two dollars and 50 cents is how we would say that. Uh, another way to write just two dollars could be a dollar sign two point zero zero. And again, though, you would just say two dollars. So a lot of times you'll just see it um, like this example without the extra, you know, two zeros there because they're sort of, well, pointless. The amounts after the point uh, is the amount under a dollar. So in the example of uh, this example here, it would be dollar sign 2.50, which is read $2.50. Let's talk about those spaces before and after the point. Let's take another look at the price, $2.50. And 51 cents. Again, this would be dollar sign two decimal point 51 or five one. We would read it as two dollars and 51 cents. The number to the left of the point is the dollar amount. In this case, it would be two dollars. Let's look at the numbers to the right of the decimal point. The number closest to the decimal point is worth 10 times the number farthest to the right. So the 5 in this case equals 50, 50 cents. So it, is, it would be written by itself right here like this with the cent sign at 50. Um, the next number represents the single amount uh, less than 10. So in this case, it would read 1 cent. So altogether, it is written dollar sign 251 M we were, would read it by saying $2.51. Some people may even shorten how they say it to save time. They might uh, read it as two fifty-one. Look at the, the amount written below. How much is this? So we have a dollar sign, and then we have a decimal point, and then we have a zero, and then a two. So since we know that anything on this side is less than a dollar, and since we know this uh, space right here where the zero is uh, would normally be the tens column, but it's empty, and this is the singles, we know that this is two cents. So you could read that as two cents, even though it's written with a dollar sign because uh, the way it's written has the decimal point zero and then two. Since we know that the two in the second space to the right is the decimal point represents under 10, we know that writing dollar sign point oh two is the same as writing two cents. So these are the same thing. You could write, you could write it this way or you could write it this way. And we read it aloud. Either way you would say two cents. Let's talk about those spaces to the left of the decimal point again. If we take the value dollar sign 0 0.2, we know that this means the price is 20 cents. What if we move the 2 to the other side of the decimal? Now the price looks like this, dollar sign 2.0. Now the price is read $2.00 and is 10 times more than the 20 cents it was before. 
So just by moving this two over to this column, it goes from 20 cents to $2. Every time a number moves left, the amount increases 10 times. So if we move the two to the left again, we now have $20. So this could be written a couple of different ways. You can uh, write it dollar sign 20, or you could write it dollar sign 20.00. Okay, and again, either way, you're going to read it as $20. Let's try one more. If we move the two to the left yet again, we now have dollar sign two zero zero decimal point zero zero. What would this be? How would we read this out loud? We would read this out loud as twenty dollars. This could also uh, two hundred dollars rather. This could also be written without the zeros after the decimal point. So you could uh, write it out as twenty dollars like that. So that's pretty much the basics about reading signs. Um, attached to this lesson, I'll make a little quiz for you so you can test out your skills. And we'll talk to you later.